It's time for another free monthly update for Sea of Thieves. There's new cursed chests of rage, extreme makeovers with the pirate appearance potion, and battles with fearsome ashen skeletons at Molten Sand Sport. All of this and more as we take to the seas with Crews of Rage. Duke has new raging bounty voyages in store for you and your crew that will send you off in search of a new cursed chest, the Chest of Rage. The Chest of Rage contains the souls of trapped pirates who desperately want to be released, and their rage fuels the power of this chest. And to make sure their anger stays contained as you ferry it across the waves, you'll have to keep it cool. A plunge into the depths of the sea will be enough to keep it under control. Or if you're on the move, a bucket of water should do the trick. But more neglectful pirates will find themselves dealing with the devastation of an explosive shockwave of fire. Each raging bounty voyage will lead you across the seas in search of hordes of vicious skeletons. And as you face off against brutal skeleton lords, using the power of this chest against them might just tip the scales in your favour. Mmm, toasty. If you want to risk taking your haul to the Reaper's hideout, then just as with last month, the Masked Stranger is offering you double gold for your trouble. She even seems quite happy to take the chest of rage off your hands. I wonder why. And for those pirates who have been feverishly collecting ashen tomes, the final five tomes are now out in the wild for you to find. Hunt them down and you'll unlock incredible ashen cosmetics for your ship. Get them while they're hot. In the Bilge Rats Black Market, you'll find a treasure trove of new cosmetics for your character and ship. Entice the band to get back together one more time with the Fearless Bone Crusher instrument set. It's a pretty metal look for a pirate cover band, but this guy seems to like it. There's also the Deep Ocean Crawler clothing and ship set for pirates craving to represent their inner crustacean character. And for those swept up in the romance of the month, there's the Wild Rose ship livery. Aww. Oh. Isn't that sweet? And there are new additions to the Pirate Emporium too. Send your rivals a point-blank message of love with the new stunningly deadly Reaper's Heart weapons. It's often said on the Sea of Thieves that there's a fine line between love and hate. Shooting someone tends to clarify things. There are also new cursed pets available with the Reaper's Heart Macaw and Capuchin. These constructs of dark magic may be cursed and rather creepy, but they still need kind-hearted pirates to give them a forever home. And if you feel like your pet could do with a makeover, there are new outfits now available. Soften the edges of your little heartbreakers with the delightfully floral Rose costume set. Or maybe kit out your cockatoo with the new Admiral set to let them lord it over all the other pets. And if you're looking for a new way to express yourself, we've got emote bundles for pirates of all persuasions. Whether you want to hear whispers of what the future has in store for you, show off your sea dog swagger, or simply take the time to commemorate a special moment between you and your crew. The emotes in this month's update will send your spirit soaring like your king of the world. And if you've ever wished your pirate could look a little less like the result of the hasty decision you made when you first took to the seas, well now's your chance with the Pirate Appearance Potion. Grab one of these potions and you'll be prompted to roll the dice and select a brand new character that better reflects your pirate persona. And don't worry, all of your currency, purchases and trading company and commendation progress are coming along with you. And rounding out this month's offering from the Pirate Emporium is the Viva Pinata inspired Paradise Garden Ship Livery. A tribute to the mythical candy filled creatures who are rumoured to roam a lush Paradise Island. 
This full ship set's eye-popping colours and details are sure to lead you to adventures that are always filled with fun. All across the seas, skeleton forts have started to fall quiet. All except Molten Sand's fortress in the Devil's Roar. Ashen skeletons have been sighted there, gathering alongside Ashen Guardians and Keymasters, so before they can carry out whatever misdeeds they have planned, let them taste steel. Battle hard and overcome a ferocious skeleton lord, and a mighty reward, or two, will be yours. So keep a cool head as the seas start to heat up in the next Sea of Thieves monthly update, Cruise of Rage. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you liked what you saw, then there's a wealth of content already on our channel and there's lots more to come. So subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.